the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. With you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in this season give your church the grace to imitate devoutly the Blessed Virgin Mary in contemplating the passion of Christ, grant, we pray, through her intercession, that we may cling more firmly each day to your only begotten Son and come at last to the fullness of his grace, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped, then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me, like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble. They will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them. For to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. I love you, O Lord, my strength, O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. The breakers of death surged round about me. The destroying floods overwhelmed me. The cords of the netherworld enmeshed me. The snares of death overtook me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried out to my God. From his temple, he heard my voice and my cry to him reached his ears. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The Jews picked up rocks to stone Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from my Father. For which of these are you trying to stone me? The Jews answered him, We are not stoning you for good work, but for blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said you are gods? If it calls them gods to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be set aside, can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemes because I said I am the Son of God? If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works, 
so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. Then they tried again to arrest him, but he escaped their power. He went back across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized, and there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no signs, but everything John said about this man was true. And many there began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, o Lord Jesus. In the words of the Gospel, may our sins be wiped away. In our first reading from uh, the prophet Jeremiah, uh, the writer is speaking about how the people around him are disbelieving him and uh, trying to catch him in a lie and to drag him down. But through uh, the love of God uh, and the glory of God, he is not dragged down, but he overcomes and and outwits, as a matter of fact, uh, the people who are trying to get him. And that's a direct reflection on today's gospel many, 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 many years later. Uh, These people, his fellow Jews, are trying to stone him. They're about to stone him to death. And he says, why? Why are you trying to stone me to death? Because uh, I gave sight to the blind, because the lame walk, because the dead have risen. One One of these wonderful things that the Father has done through me are you trying to stone me for? They said, not for anything good, but because you're calling yourself God. You're saying you're the Son of God, which makes you God. Many times we may have wondered, you know, why Jesus doesn't tell people who he is. Well, he does. From time to time, he makes it clear exactly who he is. And how do people react to that? Liar, blasphemer, kill him, put him to death. instead of attracting people to God and the word of God and salvation, many are are turning away from it because of uh, his uh, dedication to the fact that he is the son of God. And he explains to them here, he says, well, your scriptures tell you uh, that you are children of God. Am I blaspheming if I am consecrated by God to say that I am the son of God? When God has said that you are also children of God, now what he didn't explain to them, because obviously it would not have worked, uh, is that they are children of God because he is the Son of God. God became human in Jesus, always divine, always God, and now takes on humanity in himself. Uh, Jesus is fully human and fully God, as you remember from yesterday. Entirely, completely human and entirely and completely God. Hard to explain uh, to us earthbound beings. uh, God is beyond creation. And God does not have to fit into the rules of creation. Uh, And so they don't understand any of that. But he, he tries to show them that Nothing he said is blessed, and it almost sounds like he's being clever or smart about this. And that's not what he's doing. What he's doing is being honest. He says, I am a son of God, and you are children of God. As scripture says, and scripture cannot be put aside because it is true. Now they are children of God because of him. We are children of God because of Jesus who became human and gives himself for us and takes us into himself. When we receive Holy Communion, we are communing with God and coming one with God in a way that even the angels cannot do. And they look upon the face of God every day. We become one with God and we are God's own children. Through Jesus Through his sacrifice, we are forgiven for our sins. And we are shown how to live. Let us remember that, especially these waning days of Lent. Perhaps we we started out strong during Lent and and we began to get distracted again. Because that happens to us. 
But let us look forward to what is coming. Jesus, we remember at this time, will will be arrested, will be tortured, will be put to death, will lie dead for three days before he rises from the dead, seen by many, and eventually rises and ascends to heaven, opens the gates of heaven for all people, having paid our debt of sin in himself, and ascends to the right hand of the Father, God from God, light from light. So let us keep in mind that he is God. He is man and he is God. And we are children of God through Jesus. It was no blasphemy when he was telling them the truth. And it is no blasphemy when he tells us the truth as well. We are children of God. Live like children of God. Die like children of God and ascend to heaven like children of God. With the same trust Jeremiah had in God's providence, let us bring him our prayers and petitions. For all seminarians and prospective religious, may God bless their efforts of study and discernment. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our our prayer. prayer. For leaders of nations, may the Holy Spirit inspire them in the promotion of peace and the resolution of conflict. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For all who suffer hardship for the sake of the kingdom, may the Holy Spirit grant them the grace of fortitude Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For those in this community of worship preparing to receive the Easter sacraments, may the love of Christ embrace them ever more deeply during this time of preparation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. In thanksgiving for the support of our many viewers, especially Linda Lane and Sally Barone, that God continued to bless them with his many graces. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For those suffering from physical, mental, and spiritual illnesses, especially Ryan Ramos Caberio, Dennis Donovan, Georgie Ritter, Teresa Batten, Loy Pestanio, Geraldine Conti, that the Lord may strengthen and console them with his grace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For our beloved dead, especially Marlon Adarme, Nisito Landuevo, Jr., Marion Harrington, Thomas O'Sullivan. May Christ welcome them to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. We offer this Mass today especially for Gaspar Ingui and Carol Horn, that our Lord may pour his blessings upon them now and forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer for everyone suffering from COVID and from other diseases and for all the people who are assisting them and helping them in this difficult time. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the holy souls in purgatory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Father of mercy and love, we praise you along with your servant Jeremiah. Humbly ask you to Hear the prayers and petitions we bring before you today through your Son, Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God.
by the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity, and cleanse me of my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all this holy church. Grant, O merciful God, that we may be worthy to serve ever fittingly at your altars, and there to be saved by constant participation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink of, uh, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free me by this, your most holy body and blood, from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments and never let me be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. May the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. <coughs> and now please join me in making an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. What is past our lips as food, O Lord, may we possess in purity of heart, that what has been given to us in time may be our healing for eternity. Let us pray.
May the unfailing protection of the sacrifice we have received never leave us, O Lord. And may it always drive far from us all that would do us harm through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. The Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth and proclaim the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I, the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry. All who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will.